Today, let's make a healthy Chinese-style braised cabbage roll. It is meaty, it packs a bunch of flavor, it's sweet, and most importantly, it's healthy. For this braised cabbage roll recipe, uh, what we're gonna start off first is the filling. I'm gonna heat up a small pan. To the filling, I'm gonna add some salted fish. Woo, funky! But this is what's gonna give that nice sort of umami to this filling. Now, if you're not a fan of salted fish, you can always replace this with maybe some dried shrimps or dried oysters, anything that has a little bit of uh, umami to it. There we go. One is plenty, yeah, because this stuff is strong. The salted fish I'm using is a mackerel salted fish. Now, if you don't like this, because this, like I said, it is like really funky stuff. Um, if you want something milder, you can always use the dried type of salted fish, um, like a kurao is what we call it here, or even shark fish. Yeah, salted shark fish that will work as well. So what we're doing is we're sort of frying it first. And uh, this will take away some of that funk. All right, now once it gets to a point where it's soft enough, you can mash, right? We're gonna remove the bone. And you just wanna use your chopstick, mash it up. This will sort of help infuse the salted fish with the oil. We will add the oil into the filling as well. All right, turn off the heat. Let that cool down a bit before we add it into the raw chicken. Okay, now, here I have some shrimp. What I'm gonna do here is we're going to mince up the shrimp. Shrimp is about 300 grams peeled. Once this prawns is mixed up, we're gonna add it to the chicken. Now to that, I'm gonna be adding in the white parts of two spring onion. I'm grating in a knob of ginger. To that, I'm gonna add a couple of sprigs of coriander. Now these are all aromatics that will sort of balance out the funk of the salted fish. All right, get our salted fish in. Season. A tablespoon of sesame oil, two tablespoons of soy sauce. Now, if you're a non-Muslim and you're all right using rice wine, this is the time you can also marinate your meat with a little bit of rice wine. All right, now once this is done, we're gonna go in with our hands and mix everything together. This is a sort of multi-purpose type of uh, filling recipe. Yeah? You can use this recipe even for like a dumpling recipe, you know, fold it, uh, stuff it into some dumpling skins and you've got a really delicious dumpling. Yeah. Now, we're gonna put this aside and now we're gonna start preparing our cabbage. Okay, here I have the Chinese long cabbage. We're gonna remove the first exterior layer, cut off the bottom, yeah, where it, it, it holds everything together. We want this beautiful individual pieces, yeah, that we can sort of roll our filling in. Okay, beautiful, let's give this a wash. Here I have some water that I'm just gonna add in a little bit of oil. This will help give our cabbage a nice sort of glean, yeah, once it's cooked. Water is boiling, in we go. All right, so the plan is, um, we're not going to be overcooking these vegetables, yeah, just until it softens a little bit. So it might take a couple of minutes, yeah, because the stem for this cabbage is quite thick. Now, once it's nice and soft, remove it from the boiling water and set it aside. All right, so now, while the cabbage is sort of cooling down, yeah, we're gonna start preparing the braising liquid. We add in some oil. To this oil, I'm adding in about eight cloves of garlic and let this slowly just turn nice and golden. If you're preparing this ahead of time, uh, what you have to do is sort of cool this cabbages down, uh, shock it in ice water, and then you can roll your chicken in. But because I'm doing it straight away, I'm just going to be rolling it in this hot cabbages. Take your filling, sorry, this way, roll, tuck it in, just like making a, it's exactly like making a spring roll. There's one. All right, once this garlic is turned nice and golden, we can remove them. 
The reason I'm removing them is so that um, I don't mash it up in the cooking process because we're going to be braising this uh, together with the cabbages later on. All right, once you've fished out all your garlic, now we're going to add in some chicken stock. Once we've added in the chicken stock, I'm going in with two tablespoons of abalone sauce. Now, you can use abalone sauce. Uh, I was feeling a little bit, you know, I thought I could give this a nice luxurious taste. Uh, but if you're not feeling it or you don't have it, just use regular oyster sauce works as well. A little bit of soy sauce. It's about half a tablespoon. And bring this up to a boil. Let all the flavors come together. Now, the braising liquid has been simmering for a couple of minutes to help all those flavors marry together. Now, we're gonna thicken this braising liquid with a little bit of cornstarch, going in with about three heaping teaspoons of cornstarch water. Mix it all together. Beautiful. And bring this up to a boil, and we want to thicken this braising liquid. Okay, to that, I'm gonna be adding about a quarter cup of goji berries. And now we turn the heat down and we place our roll, cabbage rolls into this braising liquid. And this is going to cook our filling. Turn the heat down to a gentle simmer. You wanna cover with the lid so that it helps steam inside. We have a lot of the filling left over and I intentionally made a lot more of this because my kids love wonton and dumplings, right? So if you're just making this and you don't want to have any extra, you can cut the recipe down to about half and just finish it up with as many cabbage rolls because when you buy a whole head of cabbage, uh, you're going to get a lot of rolls. About 15 minutes into the simmer, I'm going to be returning the garlic back into the wok and that will slowly braise and soften the garlic. Now, if I were to add the garlic in from the beginning all the way till now, it's, chances are it's gonna smash up. All right, now let's have a look at this. Beautiful. Using a chopstick or a thong, gently remove your cabbage rolls. Now, you can spoon over your braising liquid. All right, ladies and gentlemen, and this is a healthy cabbage roll. Now, let's give this a taste. Mm. You get the sweetness from the cabbage. Now, this cabbage is known to be sweet, especially when you braise it for a long time. And even after braising it for a good 20 minutes, you still get that crunch here yeah, on the inside and you get into that filling that is so tasty, meaty. You have that hint of salted fish there. And with the sesame oil, the coriander, the ginger that we put in, it's absolutely delicious. And after braising the cabbage in the abalone sauce for a good 20 minutes, the cabbage sort of absorbed all that flavor from the broth, making it a dish that's really packed with flavor. So simple to make, so, so healthy, but delicious. Anyway, take care guys, I'll see you next week. If you've enjoyed this episode and you think it's added value to you, please do click the like and subscribe button, not forgetting the little notification bell on the side so that you don't miss out on any delicious recipes that comes up. All right, I'll see you guys, take care, ciao.